Hi guys! Welcome to Law Diaries Lex Comentarios. So for today's video, we are going to talk about Article 32 of the RPC. So basahin muna natin kung ano yung Article 32. Article 32. Effects of the penalties of perpetual or temporary special disqualification for the exercise of the right of suffrage. The perpetual or temporary special disqualification for the exercise of the right of suffrage shall deprive the offender perpetually or during the term of the sentence according to the nature of said penalty of the right to vote in any popular election for any public office or to be elected to such office. Moreover, the offender shall not be permitted to hold any public office during the period of his disqualification. So this uh, provision guys talks about ano ba yung epekto na penalties na perpetual or temporary special disqualification for the exercise of the right of suffrage. So ano ba tong right of suffrage guys? So right of suffrage or suffrage means the right to vote and to be voted upon. Ito yung mga rights na uh, bawat isa sa atin guys na, na makapag-vote tayo or makapag-pili tayo na mga gusto natin uh, ihalal na tao sa public office or public position. And ito rin yung right natin na tumakbo sa isang public office and um, yun na nga. <laughs> A person who is suffering from perpetual or temporary special disqualification for the exercise of the right of suffrage is disqualified from running for public office or from exercising the right to vote. It consequently deprives the convict of the right to vote or to be elected or to hold office perpetually and even the grant of of absolute pardon to the convict will not erase this disqualification unless the right is, is, is expressly restored in the pardon by the chief executive. So under sa Article 32 guys, yung topic na to is just the effect kapag pinatawan ka ng court again ng penalty of perpetual or temporary special disqualification for the exercise of the right of suffrage. So kapag pinatawan ka nito guys, mawawalan ka na ng right para makapag-vote at mawawalan ka, rin, ka na rin ng right para tumakbo sa isang public position. At kahit ba mag-grant yung chief executive guys ng absolute pardon dun sa convict, hindi pa rin may babalik yung disqualification niya sa right of suffrage unless the right is expressly restored in the pardon by the chief executive. Mababalik lang yun guys kapag uh, expressly talaga na nag-grant yung chief executive sa'yo or kung expressly talagang binigay sa'yo ng chief executive connect yung right mo. So I think that's all for article 32 guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something from this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye!